Mnasikiaje guys how is uh, the weekend taking you mnasikiaje mnafeelaje wale wakwenda na Ivasha wameenda wale wamebaki Nairobi wamebaki and kuna wengine wanaomba sana wale wana Ivasha wafungiwe nje <laughs> Mr President usisikize hao watu anyways welcome to arms arena the very first episode of this amazing show where you get everything about art gender music digitization and of course globalization karibuni sana can follow the conversation and everything else on our social media platforms at arms production all across instagram facebook and of course youtube <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, mkiangalia all around does art. Art is everywhere. And uh, I know most people are thinking along the line of uh, Leonardo da Vinci, Bernini, na hao wengine. But do you know do you have any idea what Kenya has? What the youth are doing? What the youth love about art? Stay tuned. <laughs> Art comes in different forms like this or this. However, did you know that with simple tools like a makeup kit, you can create art by using someone's face as your canvas? All you need to do is know how to use the sponge, pencil, brushes and how to blend your colors and you will be able to transform this into this. There's this wave of online jobs and uh, most of the youth are taking part in it. Mara unaona mtu ako na nyumba nzuri amefurnish vizuri ako ana drive a nice car and you're just there wewe umekazana unaamka 5 unaenda kazi but huyo ameshindanga tu kwa laptop laptop simu he's doing his thing and anapata pesa nzuri today on digitika we want to look at uh, online jobs nataka tuangalie venye watu wanaweza earn through online work So I have been a remote online worker with Cloud Factory for close to a year now. Uh the work I do involves structuring and structured data to make sure it is accessible and accurate for the client. Our client is a company that deals with an app that uh, categorizes shopping items. For example, you've gone to a shop to a clothes store, you've bought a jacket. So you want the app will categorize it as a top. So uh, the app isn't accurate sometimes. So it is our work to make sure that the job it does is accurate. There is a uh, specific documents that we use. So uh, one has the category and the other one has the items that you're supposed to categorize. So what I'll do I will come to the category document and copy paste that category to that specific item. So in Cloud Factory all you need is a laptop and stable internet condition, connection. Sorry. Uh there are no special apps being installed in, in your laptop so you don't have to be worried about any breach of data in your laptop. All we are using is Google spreadsheet because one spreadsheet has the tasks the other one has the categorization. Uh, I work for four hours a day and it's flexible. I can decide to distribute those four hours during the entire time of the day. So maybe I can decide to wake up at 12 midnight. I work for one hour, go back to sleep. During the day, I work for one hour until I cover those four hours. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenya has a lot to offer, but in Ivasha, in Imekwa, the talk of town for a while. This is our tour the Anyways, let's take a look at Tembea Kenya and see what the country has for us. Yeah, hi guys and welcome to the beautiful segment of Tembea Kenya. And in this week, we'll be trying to understand how the hotel and hospitality industries greatly benefit from globalization where visitors come from different countries to visit the services that are offered in these industries. We used to receive customers from all over the world. 
They used to come, they can even spend like a month or two months. We used to do some money exchange. Right now, like us, you can go to the Maasai land, they can see the Maasai land. They could come, they, there's an air. I, I don't know I can say it, but in our country, in Kenya, it's, it's a, a friendly country. So when visitors come in, they feel like they're home. So some of the visitors who came here, they want to see Kisi. Maybe others want to go to what we call the manga place. They want to feel the manga. However, the onset of COVID-19 has backdated much of the gains that have been found in this industry because the restrictions that have been enforced in different countries affect the free flow of visitors from different countries. Actually, before COVID-19 came in, the business used to be okay. But for now, we are operating at a low. The hope of the different stakeholders in this industry is that the situation of COVID-19 will calm down for us to calm the situation back, for us to go back to the days where the hotel and hospitality industries benefited much from the global visitors. We pray in the few months' time, everything will be okay. That marks the end of our segment, but remember, you can keep this conversation flowing across our social media handles. Bye-bye, till next time. On to a bit of serious business, and we are looking at the issue of Mira. What to another? Kuna Kiyokitu, they are chewing left, right, left, right. But we all know it has some effect. So let's take a look at Healthy Me and see what the doctors have to say. In the act to find comfort and acceptance by peers and groups, this legal stimulant has highly been abused among many youths in Kenya. The blind practice has now neglected both health and economic aspects of living. That is, is purely more of a stimulant. A stimulant is making you, the drug which is stimulating, is making you more active and more aggressive in a way. Out, and more than, like, not like drugs like alcohol, which will make you go down and depressed and all that. So we know having those activities of having a lot of excitement, aggressive, hyperactivity, it will have an effect with your normal body functions, which will affect also your blood pressure, your pulse rate, how the, your heart beats. Because when the activities are too reactive, it will affect how your heart is beating, how you, every perspective of your body. Which, so we have got the GIT also. Because, because there is acid in the stomach like hydrochloric acid. And the body, whenever you be chewing, the body is being stimulated. Like it's an dispersion of some food which is flowing into the so with that, the body will produce acidity, but the acidity will not be there to digest anything. That will, in turn, make sure burn the wall of the stomach. I can also have effect with my people. If you see, you see these guys who chew, there is more. You chew with one side, you, you chew with... We are addicted to cut and we are breastfeeding. Those effects, those cut, there's, some, there's a chemical called neosodoferin, which is it's one of the main active ingredients of the cut. For M Serena, I'm David Kennedy. Let's take a short uh, break and then we'll be right back. Don't touch that dial. <laughs> Welcome back. So June in Akwanga Pride Month, you know, when uh, one level to a rainbow, the transgender LGBTQ community wanna they celebrate themselves and the world in a join in celebrating them. But not everybody accepts these people. So today on Najita Bua, Tutaka Kwangalia what these people go through, how it feels to live in a in a world of their own, yet still they live in our world. Hey, boss, boss.
ya kazi ya shampoo kan lakini gender barriers are no longer an issue when it comes to the workplace they say what a man can do a woman can do even better na nyo akipara na nyo mtu vibaya at least nikakuja nika perfect sasa ikaanza kunywa sasa sasa acha ni ene tafute desi nyingine hivyo si feel kind of fear juu hii kazi hii kazi si lazima ikuwe chini ya maboy hii kazi ni ya maboy hii kazi ni ya kila mtu so na feel vibaya mimi feel vibaya juu maybe nilikuwa nataka hiyo pesa kuchukua mali ya sasa kazi ni kazi cho kwanza kazi ni kazi na na kama ni kazi ya kunyoa tuseme ni ya kila mtu So sometime last year COVID ili ji launch and uh, a lot changed. Kwa kwanza some regulations uh hapa na pale and uh imekuwa na effect on Kenyans. Today on the new norm tunataka tuangalie what Kenyans think about the regulations and whether they are supposed to be removed ama waongeze vitu vingine wewe unaonaje with the government going the vaccination route some have argued that it is time for the government to drop down some of the measures put in place to curb the spread of coronavirus this is what Kenyans had to say on the same topic. Ningependa hivi kafyo ifanye nini uondolewe ama serikali uondoe kafyo. Juu mimi naona ya kwamba kafyo haiwezi saidia ama kuzuia corona. Church fai kutingwa. Unajua cuz knowledge ya yenye wasio wanapata pale hapo kwa church na yenye wanapata huko nje is a little bit different. Unaona? To kuna kato fit naweza sema ni god tu amekuagana sisi. Sisi tumekuwa tukijilinda. Kafyo inasaidia kwa ladies i want to bless your eyes gentlemen i bless your ears <laughs> We watu kuna talanta hapa nje. Anyways, on uh, beats and craft, today to focus on DJ Malax. He's one of the most talented uh, Kenyan DJs and he'll be telling us about uh, his life as a DJ before and after the pandemic. Stay tuned. <laughs> Yo, mambo wase, naitua DJ Malax, ID name Amani Zani, and I'm a DJ by profession. Nimekuwa nililianza ku DJ since primary school, don't live all in love now, and so far imekuwa poa, ever since, and tumekuwa tukipush through, tukipush brand, kumik brand, so file kuna poa kwa fiti until of course covid ka come last year so now uh, tuko online dj and tumeingia facebook tuko pale facebook live na vitu ziko sawa shida ni line up ya ma dj ni wengi uh, so lazima kila mtu akwe creative mashup ziko kibao mashup mingi remixes ziko mingi lazima kwa makapela drops ziko mob kujimarket 
Nairobi city to Nairam Kama Akli Das to Sijali Atu Kujaj Apotu 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 so guys, we've come to the end of Elm Serena for today. But you know how we do it every single Saturday. Every single Saturday from 12 to 2. So how about you do this next week? Same place, same time. I've been your host, Miss V.